Okay. Give it a couple minutes. I've just been sitting here cutting out some stickers. Well, I've been waiting for 8.30 to get here. <laughs> uh, yeah, we had a storm yesterday and knocked the power out. I'll talk about that in a minute so I don't have to repeat it. But, uh, yeah. So I just thought I'd cut some stickers out while we're waiting for everybody to come in. Thought we would do some, maybe do some drawing today. So, hi, Edgy. How you doing? How was your weekend? I'm just cutting out some stickers while I'm waiting for stream time this morning. <clears throat> Hi, Riri, Linda, Tori, CK, Pamela Kane, Angie Brown. Thanks, everybody, for stopping in. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody had a good weekend, did something creative or something, something, something fun. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> hi Debbie Bruce. Hi Deb E. So yeah, our power went out. Our power went out last night about seven o'clock, and didn't come back on till three o'clock in the morning. So I didn't sleep a lot last night. You know, it's pretty hot in Georgia in the in the summer with no air, but um, it it was a little cooler right after the storm. So we had the windows open. Um, but, um, the Georgia power gave, you know, I get notifications on my phone and stuff. And they said that the power would not be on until six o'clock tonight. They were not expecting the power to be on until tonight. And it went out last night at seven. And I thought, uh, 24 hours without electricity, um, you know, I mean, we don't have little kids and, you know, we would be fine. I mean, I'd go out and I did, I do have a little charger. I should show that to you, an extra phone charger. I should go bring that in here in a minute or a little, in a little bit. Let me write, make a note. Um, but we, you know, could go out to the car, you know, we could go out to the car and charge, um, charge everything. But anyway, so yeah, it was a big storm came on. It didn't last long, but it knocked out the power. As soon as the storm hit, the, po the power flickered like three, four times, and it was out. So, <laughs> but it came back on about three o'clock this morning. So let's see, Dawn, Leona, um, let's see, Raul, you're in Barcelona on the beach. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, Raul. <laughs> You're awesome, Raul. <laughs> yes, I did make some more stickers, Debbie. Um, I bought some new sticker paper that doesn't require me to tape two, two of them together to get it to roll through my printer. So I'll talk about that in a little bit, too. Let's see. B, uh, Laverne, Barbara, Chicken Pot Pie Society, who always sings a tune. Hi, Starbuck. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I'm just cutting stickers out while I was waiting for people to get here. Jessica, Missy, I hope everybody's doing well, had a good weekend, had power in your house, <laughs> didn't have too bad of a storm. I haven't seen uh, Julie Topaz, um, let me, I'll check, I'll check uh, IG and see if she's posted in the last couple of days, because there was a storm up in Indiana. And uh, so I hope she's okay, too. Um, let's see. Angela. I'm probably missing people. I'm not trying to miss you. I'm not trying to miss you. Put it in caps if you're talking to me. Um, and Chad, how beautiful money today. I looked up acrylic paint, decided to overpaint two of them. So you're going to overpaint a couple of your old paintings? Okay, that's cool. Post them on uh, IG and let us know and we'll go look at them. Hi, Janet. I was just saying, Janet, our electricity went out last night at 7 and it didn't come back on until 3, which, you know, actually when uh, because I had notifications from Georgia Power that we weren't supposed to get it back on till 6 o'clock tonight. Oh my gosh, I was reading some of the tweets about it. <laughs> People were not happy. I'll just put it that way. 
But anyway, it came back on at three. So I would I didn't even know if I was going to stream today because I didn't know that I'd have power. Um, but it came back on at three. Hubster went to work. I'm here at work. <laughs> so, um, okay, Hedgie. Well, I hope your paintings work out good. Um, let's see, Terry Brett. So, yeah, so I wasn't sure if I was going to stream today because of the power situation. <laughs> but I did make some more stickers on Sun yesterday. Yes, it was yesterday. Before it, because like I said, the power didn't go out till seven o'clock last night when the storm came through. But um, so we didn't sleep a lot last night because, you know, it's hot. It's hot here in Georgia without air conditioning. But we did open the windows and we, we survived. <laughs> Hi, Regina. Um, <laughs> Janet, I would have texted the mods if I had did not stream. I would have texted you and Pecola and J uh, Julie and Tina. Now, Tina may not be here today because I think she's going to go <clears throat> visit her aunt who um, who is not well. So um, she's, she's probably not going to be here. If she is, it won't be for long. So, um, you have the hardest job of all keeping these y'all. <laughs> it's like herding cats sometimes, Jessica, but it's a, it's a pleasant herding cats. I love cats. So herding cats is not, <laughs> there's Julie. I was just talking about you, Ju Julie, saying that I saw, you know, we had a big storm come through and knock our electricity out last night, but I saw that Indiana had some really bad storm. So I was hoping you were okay. So I'm glad you're here this morning to confirm that you are okay. Let's see. Ann Makes. Who else am I missing? Anybody else popping in? So yeah, a few things to show and tell. Um, I think I'm going to draw today. I pulled out some, um, you know, my big scroll paper. I think we might draw today. But I have some things to show and tell. But I was just sitting here cutting out stickers until people came in. Um, let's see. I can send some pictures to your email okay all right yeah send them so when you finish them send them to my email uh, my email address is always in the uh, my about tab in my um in my uh youtube description thingy you know tabs i have not put up my community tab books yet today um i had three books picked out and i changed my mind so i have to pick out three books to post on the community tab i do that i try to do that every monday last week i don't think i made it till tuesday but i try to post every monday uh a couple of books two to three books on uh, the community tab yes that's what i saw julie that's why i was hoping you are not in one of them so hi arlene did you survive up in tennessee uh arlene um i know it came all through this south down in here and um so let's see I'll get it right uh, uh i'm not sure oh she's not talking to me it's not in caps um yeah put it in caps guys if you're talking to me please hi <clears throat> hi 3g brand i don't see rachel here but i gotta have a drink of my lemon water i always title this coffee and art in the morning and it, that's what i've always gone by the channel name is coffee and art in the morning but um, by the time I stream at 8 30, <laughs> you know, I've had, I've already had coffee. So I was thinking I might have to have, uh, made my coffee the old fashioned way if we didn't have electricity to have my coffee pot, but it came out at three. Um, let's see. Well, <laughs> okay. I'm glad you're glad you are Arlene. Let's see. Um, Okay, so let's flow down. Did I say flow? Did I see flow? Yeah, I guess I said let's flow down because I saw flow. <laughs> Good morning, flow. Flow is always one of those encouragers at everybody's channel. If you get a if you get flow in your in your group, you you got a good uh, encourager in your channel. Um, I was, you were flying. Oh my gosh. I didn't, I was one, I hadn't seen you post for a few days. And I'm, and then when the storm hit, I went, I need to check on Julie. Just got in last night from Colorado. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was reading some of the tweets last night. Um, 
you know, I have my phone, so, but I don't have my iPad, don't have computer, you know, we didn't have any electricity. My iPad has to have Wi-Fi. Well, we don't have Wi-Fi without electricity. So anyway, I was on my phone and uh, reading some of the, the Georgia, you know, updates on Twitter, because they have the live, you know, updates there. And they show there's a map you can, I don't know if all states have it, but there's a map of outages. And you can look at your the map of Georgia was solid white dots. Almost all of Georgia had some kind of outage. And I was reading this one and she goes, Oh my gosh, I have to fly out to, was it Sweden or was it Sweden? I, th I think it was Sweden. I have to fly out to Sweden tomorrow and my laundry's still in the washing machine. <laughs> and I thought, oh Lord, <laughs> I'm glad I didn't have to fly out. So I'm glad you made it home safe, Julie. You have to tell us why, you know, what happened and, you know, why you went to Colorado and all. I didn't even know about that trip. Let's see. Uh, scrolling 3G, Brenda. There's Rachel. Good morning, Rachel. <laughs> um. So, yeah. But I'm glad to be here. I didn't know if I would be. I mean, I couldn't believe it when they said... First, first when the electricity went out, about an hour later, they had an update and said... Uh, and not everybody was getting updates. I don't know. I, I, I'm in the system, I guess. <laughs> to get updates i get messages you know on my phone and um people weren't getting their messages to how long it was going to be out so it went out at seven and then it said it will it'll be back on by 12 30 on the 26th i went wait a minute it's not going to be on till noon tomorrow it's not going to be back till noon tomorrow and then about a couple hours later I got ding. I went, oh, maybe they've updated it. Maybe it's sooner. Now we've updated it that you will not have electricity till 6 p.m. tomorrow. <laughs> and I thought, oh, no, I won't be able to stream. And, you know, well, of course, that was the least of the worries of, you know, my of people's problems, me streaming. But because there's, you know, people have kids and, you know, but it did come on at three o'clock in the morning. So I was happy about that. So let's see. But uh, Hubster and I did not sleep a lot last night in the heat. But um, yeah. So when the house lit up at three o'clock in the morning and that air conditioner kicked on, we went, oh. <laughs> okay. So anyway, enough about all that. But I just wanted to let y'all, if I, if I ever something happens that I can't be here, I will probably go to the last because not everybody's on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I would just probably go to my last video and in the comments, I would comment and say, you know, my electricity's out or whatever, you know, uh, to let y'all know. Of course, I'd call the mods, you know, or text text or call the mods and tell them, you know, Pecola, Tina, Janet and uh, Julie. I would let them know. So. Uh, let's see. Scrolling, scrolling. Shelly Allred. Who else am I missing? Um, <clears throat> see, there she goes. I'm telling y'all, y'all need a flow. Y'all all need a flow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're welcome, Rachel. Hi, Vol. Um, y'all need to follow if another, uh, mix. He's a mixed media car, car, uh, comic and well, he does other all kinds of art, but comic artists. And he does, he just did some recently did some sketchbook tours. So y'all need to follow Vol. I call him Vol. It's not his real name, but I like to, you know, I like some of the names that people have. I, I like to use them. So anyway, follow Vol over on his YouTube channel and, and watch his uh, sketchbook tours to get an idea of his art and stuff. And uh, he's also on, um, also on IG. And um, I stop by sometimes, you know, it's he does a few lives here and there and they're chill and, you know, um, <clears throat> uh, but his I, lo I love his sketchbook tours is what I was trying to get up. So good morning, Vol. Uh, let's see. Uh, scrolling. I'm trying to say good morning to everybody. <clears throat> Uh, oh, well, D never lost power, but big storm. Yeah. Um, a lot of Georgia, Shelly. I mean, I looked at the map, the outage map of Georgia. It was covered. It was just like almost everywhere. Douglasville, down, I mean, everywhere. It was, there was places that were out. 
Uh, hi, Tina. We we're just talking about, I wasn't sure if you'd be here this morning because you were going to go visit your aunt. Um, so good morning. Thanks for give, welcoming everybody this morning. There's some more. Tina likes to click on everybody. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, scrolling. Hi, Shaz. So, yeah, so I'm glad to be here this morning. The storm itself didn't seem that bad. I mean, we had some thunder, lightning, and bam, 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 and some, you know, flickering, flickering, and then it was out. That was it. Then the storm was gone. It rained a little bit, and that was it. And people, that was the other thing people online were going, this, it was raining for five minutes. Why is all of Georgia out of power? <laughs> so, you know, people were conspiracy theory, you know, we can know why it went out, but why was it taking so long to come back on? So anyway, I was, I was having fun reading some of the comments about it on uh, Georgia's power. <laughs> Let's see. Um, oh, thank you, Janet. There's a, uh, Janet put in Vol's um, channel there. Hi, Pixie Cora. Who else? So y'all know I spend a few minutes saying good morning to everybody. Uh, I do stream every Monday and Wednesday, 8.30 a.m. Eastern for about three hours. Hi, Tracy. It was bad. Looked like dark shadow outside. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it was. It did look it looked worse than it than it actually was here anyway. Uh, and then about an hour later, the sun, I saw the sunrise through the clouds behind my house. The behind my house faces west, and I just saw the whole sunset right back there. And it, it did rain a little bit off and on, but nothing like that. So let's see. Do you may have a bad thing? It's going to be a rough year. So, uh, I'm not. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> let's see. Um, what else? Tracy, I think I've said hi to everybody that I see. If I missed you, I didn't mean to. So yesterday I did print out some more stickers. I got some new sticker paper. So y'all, I was telling y'all about the sticker paper that I had in everybody's uh, printer. And I use an inkjet printer and sticker paper, which dries quickly. So as soon as it comes out, it's dry. It's not smearing or, you know, now is it waterproof? Probably not. I haven't, I haven't wet them to see. But... <laughs> But anyway, um, I had some thicker sticker paper because it was a it was a heavier quality. I thought, well, that's got to be better for stickers, right? Well, not necessarily. So I bought a bunch of sticker paper that was uh, probably about mm, 80 pound weight, I think. And um, and and I made all those stickers. But the problem was with my printer, it didn't want to grab the sticker paper. And if I put in multiple sheets of sticker paper, it would grab, it, it, it would take two at a time. And then the, the, the printing would be on two sheets, half on this one, half on this one. So I said, well, let me, you know, put a little piece in the corners, some little bit of um, double-sided tape. So I would take just a teeny little bit, just a teeny little piece of tape and put it, you know, I'd put um, the sticker paper back to back. So shiny side, shiny side. I tried it the other way. Rough side, shiny side didn't work. So I put a little piece of tape in between um, and had the outsides be shiny. And that would work about every 10th try. So I'd have to, you know, wait for it to feed through. And then when it would say, can't, you know, you know, restart, I'd have to restart a couple, two, three times. So it was taking a lot of time to make the stickers the last couple weeks with that paper. So I said, well, let me try another paper. So I got a thinner paper that was, um, uh, uh, okay, I'm trying to think. It was probably, a, it was less, less than the 80 pound. So what is that, 50? I don't know. Anyway, it's thinner. It's, it's thinner paper. Okay, you can see it's thinner paper. But it's the quality is just as good. The quality is just as good. It's easier to cut out. <laughs> It's easier to cut out because they're thinner. And uh, so I've been cutting out stickers, as you can see. Uh, does a sticker paper work with laser printers too? Um, yeah, most sticker paper says for inkjet or laser. But I have found the quality of ink for art. For art, the quality of inkjet is looks better than laser. 
Uh, the laser, if you've ever printed out, I don't have a laser printer, but I've gone and had laser prints made. And it's it's almost like you can tell it's a laser print, just like an AI, you know, piece of art. You can tell it's AI. It may look good, but you can tell it's AI. <laughs> well, it's kind of that same way. You can tell it's a laser printer. And um, the inkjet is just clear, crisper. The colors are more vibrant. There's no haze to them. Now, that's on sticker paper or photo paper. This is sticker paper. But if you just print on regular copy paper, an inkjet printer is going to have that, you know, copy paper look. So it, it all depends on the paper. It's going to depend on the paper. Okay. Just saying. So I got some, a different paper and it's thinner. So the stickers are a little thinner, but Hey, it's a sticker. You're going to stick it on something. <laughs> right. And I just found that they, they seem just as, just as good. Um, so I need to see, I need, I need to make some more of my regular lemurs. I made the ones that I have sh uh, kind of cut off here and my regular lemur. See, I like this one. I like the way the body goes around this way. And the, this particular one in my computer uh, was cut. Down, you know, I, I'd had two different versions of the lemur and uh, I like this one better, but I made, I made some of these too. Well, anyway, so you already see, you've already seen the raccoon, the eagle, the, uh, biker pug the panda um i have a few more here and um i also have made some more um for halloween or well october you know it's not really halloween but you know october we do the creepy cool so this one this is going to be my bat and these are these are all from all the black and white ones are from previous inktober years two different years this was i think 2018 and then the movie monster ones was 2021 i hear a truck coming down here let's see what's going on it's loud it sounds like an 18 wheeler i don't know what it is oh anyway it's moving on so um so yeah and i made some bats I made the owl. So the original, here's what the original looked like in Inktober. And then I cut it down to this. So it, I think it turned out pretty good. So I made that. And then I made the owls. Those are new. Let's see. Who else am I missing? Hi, Icy. Molly. You like the stickers? Thank you. So what I've been doing is just, you know, people that, you know, super chat or, you know, support the channel. I've been sending, let me pick one, you know. So um, during uh, October, we'll see what I plan on doing. But I like the owl. That was from Inktober, the same year as, see, I did, uh, I started out doing that year. I started out doing Celtic knots and uh, reptiles. Then I ran out of reptiles, so then, you know, I did an owl, but I still kept the uh, Celtic knot theme going throughout, but I really like these. They turned out well, and then what else do I have here? Oh, and then the dragon eye, the dragon eye, I haven't cut any of these out yet, but this is, uh, this will be one, so, but these were all from, from Inktober, and then this one's Hubster's favorite. I, don't, I haven't figured out how I'm going to cut it down yet. Hi! Lester, <laughs> the owl's epic flow. Flo, you're such a supporter. You email me uh, your address again, Flo, and tell me, tell me owl, and I'll send you one. Uh, this one's Hubster's favorite. <laughs> the Invisible Man. Oh my gosh, uh, I love this one. So I'm not sure I'm going to cut it out yet. I don't really want to cut it out. in the. I could cut it out in the circle like, you know, he's all bandaged up, right? But when I made it, I didn't want any bandages. I wanted him to be invisible. So I guess I could cut it out in the shape of his head. I don't know yet, but I love my invisible man. Then the rest of them, I think you've already seen Nosferatu, the Dino, Poe, uh, Zira. So y'all see on um, Frankenstein, y'all have already seen all those. I just have more to cut out. So those are those new ones. And then the other new ones that I have are over here. Now this one's not new, but what I did with this one, and Tori had the idea. And Tori, let me know if you still didn't get your sticker. Um, she Tori gets like every fourth mail that I send her, I think, in uh, Ireland. 
Um, but anyway, um, I just left it like the poster. Instead of cutting it down, I left it like this. It's a it's a sheet, it's a sticker, it's a full-on sticker, but it's just the full whoops, it's just the full sheet, right? And again, they're thin, they're thin, but they're still fine. Hi, Abigail. Thank you. And then I made two other ones from my previous art. Oh, Denise has answered me. I hadn't heard from her since last night. So let me let me answer her and make sure she's okay too. Okay, let's see. Um, yeah, she's uh she's her hers went out too, but it's back on now. She said. Um, so these are these three right here. I'm not going to cut down. Um, I'll leave them like this, but this is one of my koi, koi fish in space. So I really like this. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, Tori. Tori, email me your address again, okay? And I'll send you out another pug. So uh, anyway, and tell, put in their pug. So I, I won't remember which one did, that you that didn't make it. So make sure you tell me which sticker it is, okay? If you just say sticker, I'm not going to remember which one. Um, so I'd made the koi, the koi, and it's all one sticker. The whole, it's a whole sticker sheet. Let me go this way. I think it's sometimes easier to go this way. So see, so this is the sticker sheet. So it's a whole sticker sheet and it's, you know, it's about, uh, let me measure here on my, it's about five by three. So it's about three by five. I can get, um, four stickers on a sheet so and the axolotl yeah i love him i had two versions of him i had this one and i had one where i had the umbilical cord coming from his belly button to the star but i thought that might be i liked it and i'll probably print some out uh it's the exact same thing except i added an umbilical cord that kind of weaves around into uh, his belly button to the star so um, I like the idea, but I just printed these out, the ones without um, without the umbilical cord. So <clears throat> thanks, Dan. Then the other one I did, this was um, a, just a little uh, postcard paint. This is almost actual size of the painting I did uh, back when there was um, a couple, I think it was a couple years ago when there was a blood moon uh, eclipse. So I painted this um, little mini painting uh, during that that week of that eclipse. So I really like that one. So those are just, you know, full little sheets there. Then I did a couple others that I had. I dropped some water on this one when I was messing around with my water. I don't think it hurt it any. Well, now I know it doesn't bother it. <laughs> I remember I was saying I wasn't sure if the water, if they're how waterproof they were, but this is one of my little um, beat. This was, you know, I have my pea sloth. I have my pea sloth. Well, I also have a beatnik sloth. <laughs> I have a little beatnik sloth, so I really like I like my little beatnik sloth. <laughs> I do love. <laughs> <clears throat> so hi ann and, and thanks rachel i didn't see ann so thanks and let's see kayla who else <laughs> abigail hi abigail and uh, abigail had a birthday i think over the weekend happy birthday abigail hi robin let's see so anyway yeah i got my little beatnik sloth so i i did a set of those uh, well, actually, I think I did two sets of those because I got like eight of those. Then, well, let me stop, stop on this one. This one, I, this little cat I drew on on a stream. I think I did this for uh, one of the envelopes. You know, sometimes during the holidays, I'll get out the envelopes and I'll draw a little character, a little animal on the, on the envelopes and send them out to you. I think he was one because I don't have this anymore, this actual the actual drawing so i think it was on the envelope and i just took a picture of the envelope and kept it but i like my little cat with the tongue pink cat with tongue <laughs> so i i thought that was a this would be a good i know right jerry i thought this would be a good uh sticker right with the cat pink cat 
with the tongue. <laughs> oh, thank you, Kathleen. I appreciate that. Thank you, Julie. Meow. <laughs> I can do good cats. I can I can do good cat sounds. Oh, I don't. In case somebody's got their cat, um, I don't want to scare them. So anyway, um, <laughs> so I made the pink cats. Now the thing about doing the stickers like this is that I haven't really perfected it yet. But you know, when you have whiskers or you know little areas that are sticking out, how to? I'm just kind of trying to do it what I think is going to look the best to cut around them, you know, and still keep the whiskers and things like that. See, like here's the little horns on the owl. See how I just kind of cut around them like that. I wanted them to be, you know, I want those little details to show. And then the other thing I'm doing, I'm making, I've got two roosters and four, um, cactuses in progress well i only finished one cactus i was hoping i'd have all the cactuses done before today but you know i just didn't get it done so i did get one done so here's one of the cactuses and what i'm doing they're mixed media they're papers i'll have to show you one so i don't know if you can tell but this is all it's all paper with some paint added so here let me pull let's see where is it <clears throat> I'm not going to show you the roosters yet because I'm going to probably draw, <clears throat> I'm going to probably draw chickens and roosters today because I told Christopher over on uh, uh, Christopher Runciman's uh, channel last week. I said, all I want to do is draw chickens and read conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, thanks, Deb. Now, Deb, you have to tell me what which one do you want. I'll write it down. Um, <laughs> Deb said she sent me something to my P.O. box. So I'll try to get, I don't know if I'll get down there today, Deb, because, you know, I stream and uh, then Janet streams. So it'd probably be tomorrow before I get, to, unless Hubster, sometimes he goes that, that route. If he goes that route today, then I'll have him stop by my PO box, Deb. If not, I will get it tomorrow on my usual morning, uh, Tuesday morning runs. Okay. So, um, yeah. So Deb, do you, which one would you like? Uh, which sticker would you like? And I'll send you out one. I've been just trying to, anybody that supports the channel, I'm trying to send them out a sticker. As long as they last till I have to print more. I did order more of this paper, uh, the thinner paper. I did order uh, some more packs of that. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, thank you, Flo. Uh, let's see. Pink cat. Okay, pink cat. Pink tongue. Pink cat for Deb. <laughs> so um anyway uh i have a couple roosters over here that i'm going to turn into stickers but i'm not going to show them to y'all because they're not done so i'll wait on the roof here i'm going to do something real quick just to show y'all that they are they're made out of my let's see if i can say it right jelly deli no deli jelly plated deli papers <laughs> And, and some tissue papers and some papers. So these are going to be two rooster stickers eventually. So just so you can see, those are going to be rooster stickers. Not done yet. Um, but I will show you the cactus. So And they're not done yet either, but I'll show you how they're coming along. So this one is done because I made a sticker out of it. <laughs> you like the pink cat. That's so cute. Um, it's storming. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Go ahead, Missy. I hear you. We lost power last night at uh, 7 p.m. It finally came back on at 3 a.m. So I wasn't even sure I was going to stream because Georgia Power said my power wasn't going to be on till 6 o'clock tonight. But it came back on at 3 a.m. Um, let's see. Uh, thank you, Anne. And Laura and Ann Laura streamed over the weekend, too. I didn't get to. I popped. I watched five minutes, Ann. I'm sorry. That's all I that's all I got. What sticker do you want, Ann? <clears throat> um, super sticker. So you get a super sticker back in Molly, you too. Now, Molly, I don't I haven't sent you anything in a while, so you need to send me your address again, okay? Molly, send me your address again. Thank you, Molly, for the super sticker. Um, I know, right, Janet? So Ann and Molly, what would y'all like? I'm going to kind of hold off here and see what y'all say. Um, 
and my hypercola, my little snapdragon. I don't know if you heard that I lost power last night. I didn't know if I was going to stream today, but here we are. Um, am I missing it? Am I missing it? I'm scrolling. Let's see. Looking for, okay, and <laughs> let's see, Invisible Man. So what do you think, Anne? How would you like me to, do you want me to cut it or not? Or let you cut it? You want me to cut it or do you want to cut around it? Because I'm not sure if I want a face or just cut it down into a square. Because this is the full sheet. I haven't done anything to it. So what do you think? Should we cut it or do you want to cut it, Anne? Anne, you can cut, you can cut the man. <laughs> And then <clears throat> let's see, Molly. I'm looking for Molly's too. Molly, which uh, which sticker do you want? The bat. All right, Molly wants a bat. Okay, Molly wants a bat. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm writing y'all down. So thanks guys for supporting the channel. I'll send y'all a sticker. Just got to make sure I have your address. And flow. I mean, not flow. Well, flow too. Uh, flow uh, is going to email me. Um, but. Um, Tori, send me your address again, Tori, although I don't know why some of the mail gets to you and some of it doesn't. So I don't know. Let's see. Leave it square. Okay, so let me write that down. Um, and invisible, leave square. Okay, so you can cut it down how you want. Okay, the whole sheets, it's all sticker, but you can cut them down how you want. You can make, at least even make them a little smaller. He is at an angle. I drew it that way. I drew him a little tilted so that he looks like, you know, it's on a face. But, um, yeah, okay. So, got Molly the bat. All right, let's see. How will Anne even know if she receives it? <laughs> Good one, Shelly. <laughs> Good one. Good one. Okay, so here is, this is what the final sticker looked like. But I'll show you what it looks like. It's all paper. And, and a little bit of paint, but it's almost all paper. Here's what it looks like. It's going to flash out a little. But it's all, this is all paper. See how it's all paper? It's all collage. And well, except the little black, you know, the little thorns. The thorns are drawn on. And so this is what it turned out. I thought it turned out good. So I have four. This is one. I have three others that I'm still working on. I don't think I'll show y'all. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait and just wait till the stickers are done here i'll um i'll roll through i'll roll through ready just like i did the, just like i did the roosters so these don't they don't have their thorns on they don't have any paint yet they're just naked paper but these are two more of my cactuses okay two more of my cactuses all right and i have a total i'm gonna have a total of four all right so let's move that to the side what else do i have hmm, what else we're we gonna do today hmm Let's see. <laughs> I love my hands. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna draw uh, on the scrolls today. I'm gonna draw on the scroll today. Uh, but I got a couple more things to show. Let's see. Cute little cactus, super cute. Thank you, Tina. So that's all the stickers. I think I've shown y'all everything. So take a look now. So if you just, <laughs> I mean, I can put them back out if y'all want. If you super chat or something, I'll let you pick, you know, pick something. But let me stack them all back up for now. Got the black and white ones over here. I have, I have little bins for each one. Oh, the other thing that I got done on Thursday, Wednesday, remember I showed y'all my marker build? that was starting to lean and collapse and uh so i went ahead and took it all down took the whole thing down i spent all day thursday working on this right here and it took me pretty much all day i had to do ho hobby lobby run to get a couple more pencil holders but um yeah it was a, it was an all day um it was an all day thing <laughs> getting um um, Vol, if, if Vol's still here, I have to I have to shout him out for an enabling. Vol enabled me, but I'm not going to show it unless he's here. Um, so let's move this to the side. If Vol's here, I'll show what he enabled me to buy. <laughs> it's really awesome. All right, so um, Jim Lujan, y'all know Jim, the animator Jim. Let me show you. I already have one of his coffee mugs here. 
So um, here's one of his coffee mugs that I, I bought. Um, all that glitters coffee mug. I use, I when I buy these uh, coffee mugs from my artist friends, like I got one here from Gary Hodges. Um, I, I don't, I use them for coffee. I mean, I don't use them for coffee. I use them for pencil holders, pen and pencil holders. So there's uh, there's Gary Hodges, uh, D versus M, Dinosaur versus Mars Bot. Uh, coffee mug there. So, yeah. I got some other ones. Let's see. Vol, where are you? <laughs> we'll see if he shows up. Hi, Becky M. Been a while lurking. Well, good to have you. Welcome in. All right, um, so Jim Lujan sent me this. I sent him some stickers, and he sent me through. He has Society6, so if you order from Jim, it comes to you from Society6. So he sent me one of his characters, the Prince of Panoma, Purple Ron. He said, this is one of Jim's char animated characters. And if y'all don't follow Jim Lujan, maybe Janet can put in his YouTube channel. He does updates on his, um, well, I don't think he'd mind if I show a second of it so that y'all can go over there and watch more. Let me go, let me get over here on my YouTube channel. Uh, on my, I mean, on my phone. Um, but my, uh, it's been so slow. I think because it keeps popping back into 2G, but let me see if I can try. I'll try to do the, um, <clears throat> try to do it on my phone. Let's see. All right, so let me see, go to his channel. Let's see his last live where he showed, he had a guest on. Um, <laughs> and I think it was toward the end. So I'm going to show a little bit toward the end. So it's, hey, man, how's your movie going? <laughs> so, But Jim Lujan, he's out in uh, California. Let's see, am I missing anything? Thank you, Tina. All right, so let me go to his channel. Let me, uh, well, let me show you Jim here. Let's see. Hey, man. How's your movie going? And that's Christopher doing the intro there. So hang on. Come on. Come on. Come on, YouTube. Speaking of amazing human beings. There's Jim. He had a. Oh, he got my stickers. He showed my stickers too. The but there's um there's Chris one of Christopher um Runciman's comics. Oh my gosh. So Jim got a bunch of his comics and he got my stickers. And then, but I want to scroll over where you can see some of his animation. Okay, here we go. I won't show the whole thing. All right, so let me say this. You have to go over to Jim's to see the full, like, I think minute or I think it's two, maybe it's under two minutes, I think, but there's like two minutes of his animation. And uh, I'm just going to show you a second of it. So if you want to see the rest of it, you're going to have to go over to his last live and it's on, it's on there. Okay, here we go. I wanted to get back to the cartoon part. <laughs> All right, so y'all going to have to go over there and watch it. <laughs> but he sent me one of his pillows. <laughs> Purple Ron, Prince of Panoma. People always hate the beautiful ones. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see. Um, I'm just scrolling through. So yeah, thanks, Jim, for the for the uh Prince of Panoma pillow. Say that three times. Purple Ron Prince of Panoma pillow. <clears throat> so anyway. <laughs> And Janet, the cats have not played with it at all. Janet goes, oh, the cats are going to love that. No, they haven't even touched it. All right. So let's see. Let's sip of water. <laughs> Jazz. 
Okay, so y'all go follow Jim. All right, then let's see what else do I have here. I want I, sh I do want to show. Um, I got my. I'm going to keep all my little sticky notes over here to for stickers. Um, <clears throat> I do want to uh, show a couple people's uh, IG prompts, and if anybody wants a prompt, so here's the thing: we're going to have to do a couple of. Um, I felt so bad last week after, and I talked to Jan. Janet goes, "Oh, you know that thing," and she fussed at me for feeling bad. Janet doesn't 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 let me feel that. Um, but anyway, I feel kind of bad about getting you know a little worked up about trying to do ten things at once in the morning. So I'm just gonna have to just remember we're gonna just cut back a little. Well, I say cut back a little. We're gonna do we're gonna do the um, prompts at the beginning of the show. Like it's already been we've already been here 45 minutes. We're gonna do it toward the beginning and toward the end. If anybody wants prompts, I can't keep stopping and going and stopping and starting different things because that's just it gave me a headache last last week. And I don't I didn't like oh look this just popped up. There's uh, Arlene. Arlene did this little tassel with a little angel on it. So I just saw that, Arlene. Well, she just posted it 24 minutes ago. But I do want to show when y'all post your prompts, I do like to show them. So we just going to have to, yeah, we're going to have to cut back to nine things at a time. <laughs> because I'm trying to stop and start and stop and start. And then, and again, guys, please put it in caps if you're talking to me. And I still might miss it. But I'm not doing it on purpose. OK, you have to remember how many people are here that I'm trying to talk to and still do some art projects. OK. All right. So let me go over to um, Terry Brett because she's been rocking all the and, I, and Terry, I'm going to be honest, because of the power outage and all, I have not even looked at your recent ones. So let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Looks like you got two. So she's got this one. I like them. I haven't even seen them yet. All right, her three prompts were choke, chicks, and sky. All right, so we got some little chickens choking on some worms. I told you that wasn't a worm. <laughs> I just, I'm loving your cartoons, Terry. They are, are just really awesome. And then the other one was, let's see what this one says. Um, she had... Two times three prompts. So the first three were Gauguin, Dur, and Curious. Okay, so I guess that's the, this one. And maybe the chickens were the other one. I'm curious to why some people have so much talent while others have so little. So that's supposed to be Gauguin. Go, Gauguin, however you want to say it. Don't email me. I don't I always, don't even say Van Gogh. I say Van Gogh. <laughs> If anybody's going to email, it'd be Ava, Ava, Abigail, who's in the Netherlands. She would have the pronoun. <laughs> Abigail in the Netherlands would tell, would could, can qualify me on how to say <laughs> that. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's cute. And then down here it says three prompts from Dee Dee. And then it just names them there. So, yeah, she's got a little curious. But so those are awesome, Terry. You like it. <laughs> <laughs> you like that, Tori? <laughs> okay. So next, Linda R. I think Linda, Linda Rents and Timothy, I think, I think I saw them pop up in my feed again. I haven't. <laughs> Let's go over there and look. All right. Linda Rents watercolor. Is that right? Is that you? Yes, that's Linda. Okay, so here we go. Let's see. Uh, she did a sticker collage, her and Timothy, she and Timothy, did a sticker collage, sunglasses, jellyfish, and honeycomb. So um, that's awesome. Tell Timothy's awesome, um, Linda. Tell him he's rocking it. Let me like it. Um. <laughs> Hi, Christopher. Oh my gosh, we we're talking about you earlier. I showed uh, the clip of uh, Jim's anime from uh, his last video, and you were the announcer. You were the announcer on that one. Okay, let's see. Um, okay, so I think I've shown the other uh, Linda. The, the next one I have is I wanted to show is Deb E's been doing a lot of stuff. She doesn't she doesn't do the prompts, but she's been doing um, 
some other mixed media and coloring. So um, yeah, let's look at Deb, Deb E's here. So she's got some different versions. I think this was a this was a collab she did. And then let's see here. She don't give me attitude. I already have it. Oh, that's Janet. She did a she did a little piece of Janet. <laughs> Don't give me attitude. I already have it. <laughs> I love that. I love that, Debbie. Um, let's see. So, <laughs> hi, Sai Colleen. How you doing? So, all right. So, there we go. So, if y'all missed the beginning, the first 45 minutes of all my updates, stickers, artwork, I did all that the first 45 minutes. Uh, oh, I wanted to show you the phone charger. Let me go, because I, I was glad to have that last night. Hang on, let me go grab And again, you know, I could go out to the car and charge, you know, when the electricity's out. I could go out, and, and Terry or anybody else that wants a prompt, give me just a minute. Um, so this is a little charger that I bought. It's, I, just, I just recharged it. Um, when I used it last night, I had not charged it up in about a week. So I don't even know how much uh, juice, you know, just ran out from not being used. But it still lasted me four hours. So and that's without checking the charge beforehand. So it's got these little um, it's got these little um, four dots there. And it's about every hour one will go away. So it may last longer now that it's fully charged. But what I love about this is last night, <laughs> I was happy to have it. Because what you do is you take the little thing off here. Okay. You turn it upside down here. You plug it into your phone. And your phone is charging. So I was happy to have this last night when the electricity went off. I got it off of Amazon. It's made for the, it's, this one's made for iPhones. But I'm sure there's, uh, you know, for different phones, you just got to look it up. And then you just turn it off and on over here on that little push button there. And to charge it, to charge the charger, all you have to do is plug this, you know, char you charge it from, uh, no, you charge it from here, from on the side. So you plug your chart, you plug your cord in here to charge this. And when this is charged, then you just plug it into your phone and you have four to at least four, at least four hours for uh, elect, when your electricity goes out. Again, you know, I would go out to the car. I have all the plugs in the car. I could charge it up in the car to um, if I didn't, you know, if my like, you know, because the electricity was out for eight hours. But if it was going to be out, it was supposed to be out till six o'clock tonight. Then I would have been out there with all my devices, sitting in the car in the air conditioner. <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted to share this little um, this little battery charger thing. And it's just got it's got a battery in there. Okay, so there we go. Um, let's see what else. I'm looking for a human recharger. <laughs> I hear you, Rachel. I hardly got any sleep. Hubster and I, neither one, hardly got any sleep last night because it's hot to, hard to sleep in that, you know, heat, heat and humidity. All right. So who wants a, a Terry? Do you want three prompts while we got the bag out? And I did pull the book back out again because I forgot to read out of it last. Well, I didn't forget. I was busy. <laughs> so but I do have it sitting here waiting to read out of toward the end of the show. So do you want three more prompts, um, Terry, or do you need a break? I mean, you do them all the time, so you tell me. But uh, we'll pull some prompts if you want them. All right, Terry said yes. Mm. Oh, okay, wait a minute. Let me write that down. Thank you for catching that, Janet, while I stepped away. All right, so Terry wants three. Rachel wants two sets. Oh, Rachel, I need to go over on Facebook because Rachel's are only on Facebook. I need to go over there and look at uh, Rachel's. Raul wants three. Okay, Raul, when you say three, do you mean you want three, just three prompts, right? Rachel's saying two. She probably wants two sets. Linda and Tim want two. So that's probably two sets. And I think I got everybody. Okay. 
All right, that little pink salmon book of inspo. Yes, Roll. All right. All right, so is that three sets, Terry? And Roll, you want three sets? All right, if everybody wants three sets, let me, let me get it here in my lap and get it nice and jumbled up. And I'll pick a stack. Roll just wants three prompts. Okay, if you want sets, just let me know when I get to you. All right, so I'm going to just grab a little stack here. And we'll just go off of this. Okay, and we'll just, I'll leave these to the side. So I'll just go off the top. All right, first one is Terry. She wants just three, I think. Oh, yeah, Terry just wants one set. Okay, so Terry, here we go. Rope, I'm going just off the top. And if you, if I give you, let me zoom in one. If I give you guys the same prompt multiple times or just tell me and I'll replace something, you know, for you. If you get the same one over and over. Sleepy and avocado. All right. So there you go, Terry. Rope, sleepy, avocado. Um, Rachel, I think she said she wants two. And I think Rachel's had crown before. So if you don't want crown, Rachel, crown warrior and i'm just going off the top scissors all right so there's one set rachel you want two sets i think rachel wants two sets and raul just wants three okay so all right i'll, I'll wait and see if what uh rachel wants another set or not all right here we go raul you want three fish scales kangaroo and cactus fish scales kangaroo and cactus roll there you go all right so terry rachel roll now linda all right and if, if rachel if you want another set let me know okay linda you want two sets here's your first set linda let me know if you want two sets balloons something holiday and forest okay linda do you want another set linda so linda and rachel do y'all want another set okay you're welcome raul all right so raul got his terry got hers and there's that truck again what is that this is a street sweeper we now have streets streets sweet streepers <laughs> But that's what it sounds like, is it? Oh my gosh, it is. I've lived here 22 years. I don't think I've ever seen a street sweeper go through. Oh, uh, whatever. Um, let's see. All right, Sue wants a set. All right, let me write down Sue. All right, let's see. Linda did want two sets. Okay, so Linda, brown any dino and feathers there's your second set uh and rachel wants another set so rachel thinking heart and window so those are rachel's these are linda's but anybody if you're lurking and watching you want to try to do some of these uh prompts just pick some just you know if you post them on instagram just you know hash um tag me and also say what three you used. That's all, you know. Okay, so let's see. All right, so now Sue. All right, Sue. Whoops, that one went flying. Turban, bones, and there's two there. Turban, bones, and house. There you go, Sue. Uh, <laughs> I've never seen the street sweepers go through here before. Um, <laughs> Tina. All right. Does anybody else want any before we? Uh... Yes. My Instagram is in my description as well, Robert, in the about section. Just look up Dee Dee Willingham right there. Just look up Dee Dee Willingham. You'll find me. <clears throat> my name is Inky Well with an I. But if you put in Dee Dee Willingham, my name. <clears throat> my name is in there okay all right everybody get there so i will leave the stack right over here so if anybody decides they want some i have a stack ready to go these will not be picked again for the day 
These will go in the, we're not using these again today. All right, so I think I got everybody here. All right, let's see. I showed all the, let me see. Oh, the other thing I'll sh I wanted to tell y'all, I, see, I have notes to tell, remind myself to tell y'all. So I did pop in, I think it was yesterday, early morning yesterday, or was it Saturday? No, it had to be yesterday. Lori, yeah, it was. Lori, painty girl, Lori, uh, was was uh, streaming. So while I was waiting for something, I don't remember what it was, laundry. Um, oh, I know what it was. Hubster went to see his sisters. And while he was, I was waiting for him to come back, I was, I turned on Lori. And um, so she was doing some different like folk art painting, flower things. And I said, have you ever seen the fan art? Let me go over to my YouTube and I'll just show you the video. Have you ever seen how to make flowers with, um, have you ever seen how to make flowers with a fan brush? Y'all know what a fan brush is. Do I have it sitting right here? You know, uh, you know, one of these, a fan brush. I said, have you seen that? Well, she hadn't. So I tried to describe, there she is, Lori. I tried to describe it to her and I wasn't doing very well with the description. So I said, let me make a short. So I made a quick short <laughs> for just for Lori. I'll, I'll show it to you here. But don't forget about people. If you follow people on YouTube, check out check out their shorts. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. So, and by the way, this short, I, I posted it and um, and I wasn't expecting, you know, I wasn't doing it for the the short for people to really watch. I did it to show Lori so that she could show on her channel. So while she was streaming, I ran into the art room. I made this. 30 second, 45 second short so that she could look at it while she was streaming so she could get the flower right. Okay. <laughs> so this is one take, one take um, short for 45 seconds on how to make, and it ended up getting 1800 views so far. Okay, here we go. Okay, Lori, I'm going to show you the quick flower. I'm going to get some yellow on one side here and some red on the other. And then all I'm going to do is go straight down smash up and twist i might got a little too much mixed of paint there but you just mash down forward and then twist that's a little too much twist but i think you get the point on how to do it you almost had it smash forward twist okay smash forward twist so I did that little okay, video. I, I just did that. <laughs> Thanks, Deb. But I, I, I wanted her to get it. She was so close. She was so close to getting that by just me describing it with words. But, it, you know, I, I just couldn't quite get the description just right. So I just ran in here and made that video for Lori. So there you go, Lori. So, and you can do it with all different colors and, and the high contrast, like I told her to try it with black and white, which she did, you know, but two high contrasting colors when you twist it and make, it makes a panel. If you put th two or three of those together, it also makes an awesome ginkgo leaf. You know what a ginkgo leaf is? One of, let me get a pen here. Let me get a piece of scratch paper out from under here. Well, let me find a piece of small paper. You know, a ginkgo leaf that kind of looks like this. <clears throat> it makes an awesome one of these if you do it in two sh shades of green. So one, one push and you got one of these. But if you put a couple of them together, you know, like two or three together, then you can make some cool looking flowers. So I'll oh, thank you, Becky. <laughs> It was on the fly for sure. On the fly. All right. So let's see. Yes. You almost had it though. You almost had it, Becky. I mean, uh, Lori, you almost had it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Three G. Okay. So again, I'm going to make some, y'all missed I'm, my, all my new stickers. If y'all missed my new stickers, go back and look at that at the beginning. And uh, I'm going to be doing, now I'm going to draw roosters and chickens today because, you know, as I told Christopher, all I do is want to draw chickens and read conspiracies. <laughs> but anyway, um, these are going to be stickers in the end. So I'm not done with them yet, but they're going to be stickers. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, I have not seen Vol. 
Vol must not be here, so I'm not going to show y'all what Vol enabled me because Vol's not here. If Vol shows up, next time Vol shows up, <laughs> aren't I terrible? Next time Vol shows up, I will show what he enabled me to buy. In the meantime, um, I went to uh, Books a Million on uh, Friday, was it, Janet? I think it was Friday. And um, I have bought a few of these before. These... Um, they're they're cla they're classics and they're collectible. They come wrapped in plastic. They have a back sheet on them like this on all of them. Like comes like this wrapped in plastic and they're not cheap. They're like 30 3250. And that's before the disc, you know, any discount. But I've bought Alice, I bought Pinocchio, this is Pinocchio. I've bought, I think I've got four different ones. And the only one I have left is Alice. Samantha has the other ones. <laughs> she says, I like the way they look on my shelf. <laughs> so she's got like four of these uh, classics that I bought. So she'll probably, Pinocchio is one of her favorites. Um, Janet sent me some uh, golden books and Pinocchio, Samantha snatched that up. I want this one. I want this one. So she took uh, the Pinocchio uh, golden book that Janet sent me. So anyway, which I do want to get back into those soon too. Uh, let's see. The Chicken Temptation. <laughs> right? So we're, I did pull out. We're going to, we're going to draw. We're going to draw today on this paper. <laughs> If y'all follow Christopher, y'all need to go follow Christopher. He does one page comics and does like one every day of the week. Follow him on IG and on YouTube. <laughs> okay. So, uh, but I want to show you why these books are expensive. They're very high quality. They're, they're embossed as you can see there. And they're just, they're beautiful books. They're beautiful books and they all have these tip ins and they all have, um cards or pieces of paper which i took out all the little papers out of it but every time there's a tip in or some kind of something special there's a piece of paper there to protect it when you buy the book let's see um hi seven hi cb anybody else i'm missing put it in caps if you're talking to me all right is that a little let's, let's brighten this up just a little let's see if that's denise no, it's not. It's other family members all checking in with each other since, the you know, making we all making sure we have electricity. Again, if y'all missed it, this little charger was nice last night, midnight till three in the morning. I didn't have to go out to my car to charge my phone. Okay, so I'm not, of course, I'm not going to read the book, but I just kind of want to show you. Um, it's illustrated by Mina Lima. Mina Lima. Um. And uh, they're just stunning books. They are awesome books. So I'm going to show you a little bit of them. <clears throat> okay. Oh, thank you, Tina. Tina's up there with the links. Her and Janet are on it. <laughs> she and Janet. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, they have different little, it's highly illustrated, but they have these. And I did keep the cardboard on this one because of this. So look. It's got a little Pinocchio, Pinocchio doll here. And you can take it off of here. It's clipped on there. But look, I mean, it's just amazing the work that goes into this book or these books. There's multiples. Um, let's see if I can. I don't remember if I could see them on here. Um, there's. I have the Alice one. I can't remember what other ones because, like I said, Samantha took them. So I don't remember what ones there were. But there's there's a lot of them quite a few of them okay so that's and then it has the paper or some cardboard over each insert <laughs> i know i love i love these books and i did share the alice well i think i've shared i've shared well, probably all of them over the last few years but um then here's some uh clothes it's a little paper doll now i'm not going to cut this up i'm not going to cut these out but here's this little clothes you can cut those out just like a regular paper doll. And again, they had paper front and back, little sheets of paper to protect it. Then here's the next chapter. <clears throat> here's some little stand-up characters, the little, uh, you know, uh, finger puppet things you can put around. Finger puppets, you know, they wrap around your finger. 
<laughs> then we got, look at this, look at this paper, and I haven't taken it out yet. Let's see, it goes like this. So it's a 3D, look at this. Can you imagine the work that goes into this? Look at that. It's a 3D shadow, like a kabuki theater. Is that what it is? Look. Isn't that awesome? I had this tucked in the back. That. But all the illustrations are just awesome. Let's see what's next. See? Every chapter is different. Then you can order them online. My books a million sells them. <clears throat> I just love the illustrations. I'm flashed out. I'm either too light or too dark with these books. Let's turn that down just a little. Uh, let's see what's next here. Um, here's a, in a little, um, the little uh, fish net. Caught in the fish net. Look at that. See how it's all cut out? A little fish net there. Uh, and then here's a little house. Let's see how this goes. I didn't play with this one. Is it some pop up? Oh, it has little doors. It has all these little doors here. So yeah. But anyway, I thought I'd share these with you because they are very cool. And then look here. Let's see if we can. Uh, it goes this way. Isn't that awesome? Th these books are not, you know, that's why they're $33, you know, it's because of all this, right? So, yeah. So they're just real high quality books. I'll give you the ISBN if you want to look it up. 978-0062905277. So, yeah. So there we go. So that's, I think, the, well, unless Vol shows up, unless Vol shows up, I don't, that's the only book I have to share with you today. All right. If Vol shows up. <laughs> okay. So let me put up this over here out of the way. I showed, if you missed it, Christopher, I showed my Jim Lujan pillow. Did you see that? He sent me the, the Purple Ron Prince of Panoma pillow. <laughs> That's very, and it's like canvassy like. It's, well, it's a soft canvas. It's like, you know, it's not going to put wrinkle. It's not going to put a pattern on your face if you lay on it. <laughs> okay, so um, let's, what else? Looking around. Hmm. Okay, I think we're ready to... I think we're ready to draw. Let's see. Maybe I should back up for a minute here. Let's back up the camera. All right. I know, right, Christopher? <laughs> Let's see. I love the alphabet book that is constructed by the engineering students. Lots of tips. I love the alphabet book. I'm not sure which alphabet book. I've seen so many. I've got a lot of alphabet books. Kids ones, adult ones, hidden ones, secret ones. I do have one I should show. Well, let me take a quick break because, you know, all this water. And I'll see if I can put my hands right on this one book. And that's the only rabbit trail we're going to go on. I say that. All right. I'll be right back. <laughs>
Okay, well, I didn't put it in my children's book section, so I can't find it right off, and I'm not going to make y'all wait any longer. But I'll try to find it. I'll make a note and try to show it to you. I've shown it before, but it's a very cool hidden things book from uh, the early 90s, I think is when it came out. But I couldn't put my hand right on it. So we'll do that another day. All right, let's see. Um uh, yes, yes, Tina. I, I did point that out. This is for uh, this one's for the iPhone. So yeah, make sure you get the right one for the right phone. <laughs> Let's see. Um, rolling through, rolling. Okay, I'm not seeing anything. Hermit's Tale, Jen. I think I've said hi to everybody else. Okay, so y'all know that I used to. This is shipping paper, packing paper, shipping paper. And uh, I used to leave, and it comes on a roll, right? So this is off, I've cut this down off of a roll, which by the way, I need to, let's just put some of my, um, I do have some uh, weighted things to use. Uh, I wonder if I have them handy. Where are my weights? My paper weights. Um, but I used to keep it on the, on the scroll. But then it uh, it got too hard to go back and find uh, and go back and find your spot. I'm not seeing where I put them. So I cut them down. I cut down the papers to use. So it's still my art scroll, but it's not a scroll. <laughs> it's just now it's just flat pieces of paper. All right, put it in caps, guys. Hi, Judy O. Let's see, get my hair pinned up out of my face. Ugh, need to get another trim. Getting down the back. Getting long. Let's see. Um, all right. I don't think I've missed anybody, but if I have. All right. So, get some Conti crayons out here. Let's get a couple of reference chickens. <laughs> Where's Colleen? Colleen, I'm going to make some rooster stickers. All right, let's see. I picked about four or five. I know I picked two, four, about six different roosters in different positions and different colors. There's yellow and red, white and red, white, black, white, uh, you know, striped feathers with red. This one is just red with white feathers. We'll just go with the plain one. We'll see how this goes. Okay, so your pug sticker arrived on Friday. Okay, Jane, good. Now, if we can just get um, Tories to Ireland, we'll be good. So, yeah, there's <laughs> Colleen. So, Colleen likes her chickens, too. We like our chickens. Our roosters, yeah, and roosters, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Um, CB... Tina, who else am I missing? Gabriella. Thanks everybody for hi Sandra. Sandra's here. Good morning. Hi, Noodle Joyce. Good to see you. Um, okay, thanks, Tori. Yeah. So we'll uh we'll try again. We'll try one more time, Tori. <laughs> Let's see. I'm looking at my, I think. Oh, the only other thing, I will show you my marker rebuild. <clears throat> I'll show you a picture of it. I'm not going to take the camera down. So, um, y'all, I showed it to y'all. It was starting to fall down and lean and collapse. So I said, oh, there's no, oh, I've got pictures there. Oh. oh, sorry. Family memories. They've been sharing with each other. Um, so I took a picture of my rebuild now if i can find it oh and christopher see i find all these things when i go through my phone um i was telling christopher that i had drawn and it was some years ago and i could not find the original i did find the picture on my phone of a viking samurai lemur and i could not find the original but i did find a picture of it so here's my Viking Samurai Lemur <laughs> character. 
<laughs> so, and I think I have one more close up. Here's a, there's a close up, a, more of a close up of it. So yeah, my Viking samurai lemur character. I cannot find the original, but you know, I can redraw. <laughs> Thanks, Tori. All right. So, um, yeah. Uh, and if y'all missed it, I have new stickers. I got the beatnik lemur. I mean, the beatnik, um, uh, sloth and uh what else all right i'm scrolling so finding uh trying to find uh my build here hang on where'd it go it's right here ah here it is okay so let me turn it sideways so i redid the whole thing i took all this down took all this down and redid the whole thing. I even put my little ink bottles down here in front. Put my little ink bottles along the front. So I got my ink, my paint, my markers, my pens, my pencils. So I redid this whole thing. I restructured. I took a whole nother sheet of black foam core board and, and re, uh, you know, reinforced it and put some more little dividers in there and everything so now so this is what i look at this is what i look at while we're we're here right here in front of me <laughs> oh so let's see all right i think that's all i got to show you um i did post on instagram some new peppers and um and one squash and let's see what else I think that's it. All right, so let's get to let's get to drawing. <clears throat> um, all right. So let's see. Maybe probably I'll draw with white. And I just use these little Conti crayons because they're not they're not dusty as chalk. And I probably will need to lighten this up. They're not as dusty as like uh, pastels and chalk, but they are chalky, you know. So yeah, and it is a beautiful sight to see. I finally got it just like I want after 22 years, <laughs> Terry. All right, so let's see here. Let's draw a couple of, let's draw a chicken or something. All right, so here's where the top of his head's going to be. And then we'll just have his feathers come down somehow down into here. And I'm going to do this with paint. I'm just going to sketch them out and then we're going to get out the paint. Yes, let's get crack lack and Julie. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. So I want his little comb i want his comb to be here and uh uh christopher drew some uh, awesome chickens and roosters is it last week christopher i don't know if he's still here he comes and goes <clears throat> let's see i'm gonna need this to come down oh it's just and, and the other thing about doing this like with uh with uh, a, a pastel or a chalk is you can erase it you know or you can just paint right over it so I, you, I usually just paint over it, but see, it, it'll it'll erase. So, and same thing for any place that you, you know, lighten up the lighten up the lines. So let's see here. Just want this to kind of come around this way. His eye is going to be right here. It's going to have some feathers right in here, and the feathers are going to go out this way. little feather patch i don't know what that little patch is that all the roosters have they have that little patch there and i'm not copying it exactly i'm just you know using it as a reference just to i i will if you know they turn out i'll turn them into stickers like my other ones some of those other ones that i've drawn are this big <clears throat> you know my uh uh pea sloth um let me see what other ones are there some of the other ones that were big the pea sloth for sure this is a, a, a 18 no 22 by 26 it's a poster this is a poster size um these right here are not that big but they were drawn on on uh the scroll too but there we got the uh koi in space and i got my axolotl in space which I think I'm going to make some more with the with the umbilical cord attached to the star. I have two versions of it, this one and the one with the umbilical cord. 
So I like my axolotls. And then I just did this is I did this one back when we uh, and this is an actual size, pretty much. This is pretty much an actual size of the postcard I did during the blood moon eclipse two, three years ago. So I made some stickers out of that. And then I just redid some more stickers and then added the pink cat tongue. <laughs> one of my cactus, which there's going to be four of these. Um, I showed I showed all these earlier. So if y'all want to see them. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And some other ones too. When you have a place to scan, um, I don't scan them. I just take pictures. Colleen, I use my phone. I don't scan anything. I do it all on my phone. Do it all on my phone. Just take a picture of it. Email it to myself. To the, I just email it to myself so it goes to the computer downstairs next to the printer. Open up the computer downstairs. Send it to the printer. And there we go. I don't scan anything. <laughs> I don't have time. Anything I want to fix, I can fix it in my phone. You know, I don't need to, I don't need to uh, scan it. Let's see. Um, let's see. What else? Hi, sister. How you doing? You're welcome, Colleen. Yeah, just, just, you gotta, you know, just do it with your phone. Okay, so let's see. Now, I'm not going to do the whole chicken legs. You know, I'm not doing this chicken legs. I'm just going this far. <laughs> so let's see here. And then the rest is all feathers. All this is feather. Okay. No, maybe not quite that far out. There we go. Got our chicken drawn. Okay, let's do this bigger. Let's do this a little bit bigger comb back there. <laughs> hey, I did the cat. I did the cat a little while ago. Malibu's looking at me. <laughs> But she goes, I know it's you, Mom. I know it's you. Um, uh, yeah, don't, shh, don't tell Janet. Don't tell Janet. Shh. <laughs> I got my little uh, soapstone ink things holding it down because they're heavy. All right, let's see. All right, let's get some paint out. Out. So let's get a couple shades of red. Here's a maroon color, a red color. I'm going to need black and I'm going to need white. White. <clears throat> and some yellow ochre for the eyes, probably. We'll get a little yellow ochre, some blue gray. Oh, I'm just looking at colors. All right, so this should be able to, we should be able to get our chicken with this. <laughs> Thanks, Debbie. Do you live with sound effects? Um, I do have, um, and I watched, uh, Christopher, I know you probably watched the Art Casters last night. I watched a little bit of this morning because I didn't have electricity overnight. Our electricity went out at 7 and did not come back on until three. However, I will say it again. I was very thankful because Georgia Power wasn't expecting to get the power back on until six o'clock tonight. So 3 a.m. last night was just fine. But anyway, um, they were doing the sound effects. I used to have a soundboard on my phone, as, but I didn't download it on the new phone, which is now three or four years old. Um, no, not that, maybe two. But anyway, on my old phone, I had the soundboard and it was real funny. Some of y'all will probably remember the soundboard that we would play with sometimes. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, the art casters reminded me of that. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and get everything. You always want to shake up your paints because the oils separate. All right, let's see. All right, let's put out some white. And we're just going to base coat it first. Okay, we're going to get the base coat. <clears throat> Some little bit. Look, look what I just did. Jeez. All right. 
I will need some baby wipes anyway. <clears throat> Okay, baby wipes. Need a little bit of this yellow ochre for the. Of course, I pick one that's not open. Let's get a look away if you don't like cutting stuff. <laughs> Cut that plastic right off. <clears throat> okay, for the beak and the eye. And I'll, I'll do some pencil. You know, details. I use pencil. I use pencil for details. <laughs> oh, yes, the crickets. I forgot about that one, Julie. The crickets. Oh, my gosh. I got to find that app again. I don't even know if it's still around anymore. They probably have similar ones. But it was. I think it was called Soundboard. I think that's what it was called. But <laughs> the cricket one was good. Let's get quite a bit of red. And a little bit of maroon. <laughs> I was that. Thanks, Julie, for the thanks for the memory, Julie. <laughs> I will start with this. And again, I did pull my inspiration book to read out of later, if we have time and if I remember. Okay, let's move all that over to the side. Okay, brushes. Mm -hmm. I remember the crickets. That was a good one. I will have to find it. All right, let's see this. what size brushes do I want. Y'all know my favorite are angle brushes. But uh, maybe this one. i got a couple here. And let's see. Let's get one smaller one for, like, the eyes and stuff. <clears throat> if I had to pick one type of brush to use in my acrylic painting and collage, it would be angle brushes because they're so versatile. You can get lines. You can get points. You can get flats. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and start just basing in. Basing in. And don't forget, I can erase any of this white uh, chalk that is left. You know, if there's any chalk left, I, I can get rid of that. So this is just to get, get a base coat on. I'm kind of following the form. So that it kind of, you know, just, just kind of follow the form here. Maybe a little bit more texture up here, a little bit of... <clears throat> If y'all have any questions, put them in caps. I had to step away for a minute, and I came back to... <laughs> we are talking about you while you were gone, Christopher. Talking all about you. Talking smack. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> so this is just acrylic craft paint. Nothing fancy. And the reason people ask me and and I do get I do get professional artists you shouldn't use craft paint you know why are you using craft paint why don't you use acrylic well I got I got some nice uh I got some nice paints over here somewhere <laughs> I got some nice um uh, you know um I got some nice golden and some nice you know acrylic paints and things but um the thing about the professional artist grade paints is they most of the time, not everyone, I haven't checked every brand in every tube, but they leave a sheen. If it has a sheen, it's going to resist color pencil. And y'all know I'm all about the color pencil. <laughs> I'm all about the color pencil. All right. So let's just see here what we can do. <clears throat> So if y'all have any questions, put it in caps. Just going to be smacking the paint down here. Slapping it down, I should say. 
Uh, let's see. I like Angle Brushes too. I know, right, Debbie? Dee Dee taught me how to smack and dry. Yes, I did, Christopher. Yes, yes, I did. <laughs> and um, oh, I forgot what I was going to say. I'll remember in a minute. So this is just a base coat before we add highlight, shadow, pencil, pencil. I love saying that. The European girls say pencil. And I like the way it sounds, so I say it that way now. But I refuse. Now, don't anybody email me, but I refuse to say buttons. Oh, I know I'm bad. And now my paint is starting to get a little tacky. It's getting a little thick. So I probably need a little bit of water. Just I don't want to add water to the, just a little bit of, you know, a spot over here just to kind of dampen my brush uh, occasionally because the paint starts to dry out. The paint starts to dry out and it, it doesn't flow. You know, you got to have it flowy. Got to have right flow. Don't we have to have it flow, flow? <laughs> I, can you tell I'm in a good mood that we have the electricity back on? I'm telling you. I'm telling you, people. <laughs> Dude's mom always smacking and dragging or something. Yeah, or something, Tina, something. Um, thank you, Judy. Thank you. I appreciate that. Does, uh, does Lori Painty Girl say pencils? Does she? <laughs> <laughs> all right so there's our base there and i do janet look away look away janet i have a i do need to change my water janet look away janet are you looking away let's double check because we don't need to we don't want to have to do any uh heineken remove <laughs> heineken maneuvers on janet so janet <laughs> You know what a Heineken remover? Someone passes out, you throw a beer at them. Okay, so here's my water. <laughs> and I do clean it, and I do put it in the dishwasher. I have two of these. So when one gets really bad, I'll put it in the dishwasher and replace it with the other one. But it sits behind me. and I, Look away, Janet. I keep it on a paper towel like this. <laughs> so when I clean it, first off, I if I have a lot of paint in the brush, if there's a lot of paint in the brush like there is here, I will wipe the excess off on a baby wipe. And then, and usually I have dirty water on one side, clean on the other. But right now they're probably both dirty. <laughs> and then I just go down here and uh, get, you know, clean the brush and get the excess water out. Okay. That's my cleaning method. Got some extra sponges and daubers and what, what. <laughs> But that's that's right behind me here on the table behind me. And the reason I do that is if the cats jump up here, I don't want water going everywhere, right? So I keep the water behind me. <laughs> and I usually don't use the trays I usually use. I have a big tray acrylic, you know, of acrylic paint. But I can't use that on stream uh, to, you know, throw out here. All right. All right, let's get shadows gone here there we go all right so next let's go ahead and get the white feathers feathers going here just going to start feathering just start feathering <clears throat> it's a heineken yes it's the heineken the heineken remove the heineken maneuver <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's one thing I never liked um, was beer. I don't like the taste of beer. I just never have. I mean, I'm not saying other things that I didn't like, but beer was not one of them. It always tasted bitter to me, so I never, I never liked beer. <clears throat> So, let's see. What did Judy say? I missed something Judy said. <clears throat> I 
You watching Colleen? Colleen loves her chickens. I haven't seen Marsh um, post his chicken update. Marsh has chickens now. And uh, I haven't seen him post an update on his chickens. Marsh, if you're back there, well, I know he's not here because he's in, he's in school now. So, But um, if you watch any of this later, Marsh, we want a chicken update. Let's move this up as far as, that's as far as I can move it up. The paints are right there. If y'all missed the build photo. Um, never care for the taste of beer either. Judy, like, Judy likes tequila. She's hitting the hard stuff, people. <laughs> Slam back those tequila and limes. <laughs> okay. Excess paint. Wiping it off, and then into the tub it goes. <laughs> I'm all having a good day. I'm just happy to have my electricity on. I'm it's small things, people. It's the small things. Although it's really not a small thing when it's uh, you know, the middle of the night in Georgia in the humidity, and no electricity, and the, and you got the wind is open and there's barely any air coming in. <laughs> All right, so there's a start right there. All right, now let's see here. What do I want to do next? I think I want to downsize one brush size here. Let's get a little of the maroon and black. We'll see. I, I've not painted this before. This is on the fly. Do you have to follow form when doing... Oh, yeah, I have. I, I never... I, I'm going to be honest. I was never a, a shot girl. <laughs> I was never really a shot girl doing shots. All right, let's see. And I'm going to put texture and stuff in here, but I just got to kind of get this based in. And we'll get out the pencils. Let's take a, let's take a little time now. Yes, <laughs> electricity is a huge thing, Flo. Yeah, especially in the South. But anywhere, and like I said, you know, there were people I was watching on Twitter on the Georgia Power um, Twitter feed because I wanted to check, you know, updates and stuff. Well, the, Georgia Power also has um, the map, the map of um, outages. So they have that too. And they were directing people over because people were complaining, go, when am I going to, I haven't even got an ETA on when my power is supposed to be on. Well, I didn't want to tell them, hey, I got an ETA and it was six o'clock tonight, the next day. So you probably don't want to know, <laughs> you probably don't want to know your ETA, just saying. But um, I think the, the funniest one was, and, I, and funny not being ha ha, you know, um, because it's not funny. It wouldn't be funny if it had been me. I think there were, oh, somebody said that they were going to Sweden and their laundry was all in the washer still. <laughs> I was like, oh no. <clears throat> and I didn't hear anything about the airport or anything. So I don't know if it affected any um, flights or anything. I didn't see that. Okay, I'll do a little blending here. And there's like texture, there's like a rough texture in all his comb and his there's a name for this. It's, it's not his beard. There's a name for that part of the rooster. It's not coming to me right now, but there is a name for it. <laughs> if anybody wants to tell me the name of this part of the, the rooster, let me know. <clears throat> Um, poor rooster. No, we haven't got to his eye yet, Tina. We haven't got to his eye yet. Give me a minute. 
don't rush me, don't rush me. What was it? Mr. Editor, I'm thinking of a movie, uh, Liberty Valance. Don't rush me, Mr. Editor, don't rush me. Movie, you have to remember who I live with. <laughs> the movie, um, I, I mean, I, there's, he watches some of the same movies, so, and I'm not complaining because I don't mind. I'm usually doing something else anyway for the most part. But uh, I have movies like Liberty Valance. I could waddle. I think it's a waddle. Yeah, I think you're right. It might be a waddle. Thank you, Tina. I think it is a waddle. But anyway, um, I have uh, I have these movies. <laughs> when they're showing the movies and Hubster's watching them for the umpteenth time, I could be quoting right along with the movies. The Searchers, Liberty Valance, all those old westerns in particular. I could be showing. I mean, I could be, I could be repeating. <laughs> Terry goes, yes, waddle. <clears throat> oh, Liberty Valance is an oldie for sure. Oh, yes, Julie. <clears throat> On top, you have points, then the comb. Yes, I knew this was the comb. I couldn't remember what this was called, the waddle. <clears throat> and I will be doing the eye with pencil. I mean, I'll put a little color in there, and then I'll go in there with detail with pencil. <clears throat> And again, any white chalk can be erased if I don't paint over it. How to blend acrylic? Well, I think one of the main things, Art Pearls, is I'm not using any water. I mean, I have a little bit of water over here. If the paint starts to dry out, I'll just like barely you know, dab it or get the paintbrush. And then after I dry, after I rinse the brush, I dry it on that paper towel. You know, the one that made Janet faint. This. So after I clean my brush, I clean, dry it off on the paper towel. <laughs> so no water. There's not a lot of water. <clears throat> it's all, it's just all paint. It's craft paint. Just, you know, it's craft paint. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see here. Where am I going next? <clears throat> and it's kind of like uh, alcohol markers. You have to keep, a, keep the edge wet. With the wet edge, you're able to, um, you're able to uh, blend. Now, this is going to be dry by the time I get up to it, but I'll just add some more dark up there. Put a little piece of something there. And then I'll add the details with pencil. <clears throat> um when you say craft paint i hear <laughs> no that's the pencils that's when denise uses my uh, uh my pencils uh devin <laughs> and devin's been doing some awesome videos too again i've got four different roosters over here and I'm just trying to you know, get a general, general rooster, general rooster, <laughs> not trying to copy any of them. I'm not doing a, I'm not doing a rooster portrait. 
all right, let's see. I'll get back up in there with the... All right, let's move down just a little here. And let's get some maroon. And I'll just... Whoops, I accidentally got hit the blue. Didn't mean to. I was trying to clean, kind of clean my brush off. And I hit the blue. <clears throat> but I think he'll make a good sticker along with those ones that I showed you that I'm doing in paper. I, I only did a quick flyby. I'll do another flyby. I'm doing two other roosters in a collage that they're not, they're not done yet, but they're, um, they're going to be, they're going to be, uh, they're going to be uh, stickers as well. Mm. Or red. And if you get too much paint, just wipe it off and keep going. <clears throat> I know, right, Colleen? I, I showed that earlier. I think I don't think you'd come in yet. All right, so let's get a little bit more. And again, too much paint, I just wipe it off. So what's everybody else doing this uh, bright Monday morning? It's a beautiful day. It's supposed to be beautiful and sunny for the next three or four days. Janet, how's your weather out in Oklahoma? I think I saw storms coming through your area too. But I think that was Saturday. Look up a chat here in just a minute. I think I need a little. This side's going to be highlighted, so let's. Uh, let me just pick up a little bit of. I want this side to be highlighted there. Top right there be a little highlighted. Hmm. <clears throat> Beautiful and hot, yeah. I'm just kind of taking my time, enjoying the process. Process. A little more red in there. A little maroon. Oh, and I did get a I did get a couple conspiracy books. I was gonna show Janet wanted me to show them. I'll have to try to so we'll see if I can squeeze that in here in a little bit, Janet. Janet goes, show those books. Okay, Janet, I'll try. She wanted to see them. She didn't care if y'all saw them or not. She wanted, <laughs> she wanted to see them. <laughs> Because I told uh, Christopher in his chat last week, all I do is want to draw chickens and read conspiracies. <laughs> That's not really true. That's not all I want to do, but you know. <clears throat> all right, we got the start there. Um, let's see. Thank you, Leona. And hi, by the way, anybody else I missed? All right, that, that baby white goes in the trash. Get another one. 
Love you. Some beautiful shading going on. Thank you. Our weather here is, oh, is it smoky where you are? The, are the fires still affecting you, Ann makes? The forest fires, are the are they uh, still affecting? i got to clean my brush now. Back in the water. Are you still getting the smoke from that? Okay, let's get a little bit of, let's get some eyeball going here. And let's go ahead and get a little beak going here. A little bit of white. I'm going to have a spot to blend on. There we go. <clears throat> all right there's our start now we got it started very much quebec forest fires drawing conspiracy <laughs> that's true christopher that's true uh <laughs> All right, let's move this up a minute. And I'll hit this with the heat gun, and I can erase all those white chalk lines if I need to. All right, so let's see. I need a little bit. Um, let's go in here with some of the blue and white. This is going to be our shadow in, in our feathers here. Our shadows in the feathers. <laughs> It's not quite dark, and I'm gonna have to just maybe go straight gray there. And then after I do these, this is like underneath, right? These feathers, then I can put some other feathers on top and have them look like they're kind of fluffy or whatever. Let's put a little bit of shadow there. Again, more base. It's all about the base. I'm going to probably put some black down in here, too. This one guy's got a lot of shadow down here in his bottom half. the black and the gray here. Need a little more brush for right in there, I think. I do want him to have some kind of stylized to him because he's going to be a sticker. You know, I'm trying to remember. This is going to be a sticker. <laughs> I want that real dark up under there. Um, that rooster is rocking. <laughs> All right. Mm 
All right, I think that's good. Let's blend that out a little. All right, just a little bit behind his face here. I'll get the smaller one. Okay. Got these little fluffy areas. I don't know what that part of the chicken's called. I don't want to do any feathers around the eye yet because I got to do the eye and then I'll have a few feathers kind of popping, popping around the eye there. And same thing for up here in the comb. I got to do a little bit more stuff up in there. All right, let me clean the brushes again. The red is amazing. Let's clean off the brush. Throw that away. Get another baby wipe. Go to the baby wipes, people. You think I was had a baby butt to clean? <laughs> I think you think I'd have a baby butt to clean, but I don't. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and hit this with the heat gun a minute. So now that that's an accident. They didn't mean to get that white there. But again, it's going to be a sticker. It's all going to be cut out. All right, let's dry. Oh, I got to plug this in. We haven't even added highlights yet. I think we got it. All right, now, pencil. Oh, that's going to put a shadow. Let's see. I'm going to move things over a little. There we go. More baby wipes. Uh, any questions, put it in caps. Or if you're talking to me, put it in caps. All right. Let me move my little... Drawing utensils. Utensils. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. I can get rid of some of this chalk in there. All right. Oh, 
don't think it's going to be dark enough, but we'll see. I need a uh, Tuscan red. Tuscan red, black, scarlet. What else do I need? Yellow ochre. I'm going to need an orange and a yellow for the eye. So orange. The yellow, a little bit for the beak and the eye. And I'm going to need a um, ochre. Going to need a blue. That may be enough colors. I'm not sure what I want. If I want to do all the, you know, the comb and the waddle are textury. I'm deciding whether. Okay. Let's, let's readjust the lighting again because it wants to flash out again. There we go. All right. You want me to zoom in a little while I do the eye? Autofocus. All right, let's see if that's pretty good. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to see in a color. All right, let's do the pupil. Y'all ready? Y'all ready, Freddie? And I want a little sienna. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Mighty Angel. Hi, Jeff. How you doing? How's everything going with you? Good to see you. I have my own highlights sometimes, but I have to blend them out. Blend that out a little. And then when it dries, I can go back in with pencil and uh, sharpen it. But now it's got a little bit of uh, highlights that I'm going to knock back into shape as soon as it dries. I want a little bit more orange in his eye, I think. Okay. And he's got a little, I think I'll put it in with Posca and then paint over it. I want this part right here to be brighter around the eye. So I'm going to draw it in with white, but I'm going to go over it with, as soon as it dries, I'll go over it with pencil. But I'll still have that vibrancy and the sharpness of that edge. Okay, same thing. Let's go over here to the beak a little here. Posca is amazing for putting on a brightness and then you can paint, uh, draw over it, draw or paint over it. All right, so there we go. We got that blocked in. All right, let's see. I still haven't decided, do I want texture in him or do I, because that's going to take some time. That takes some time to do all the nubbies, you know, 
Do y'all want nubbies in them? Should I go for the nubbies? <laughs> Do we want to go for the nubs? <laughs> you would back in with tinsel. Oh, no, pencil. Um, <laughs> all right, let's see. All right. Where's my brush? All right, let's see. What do I, let's let's see what I want to do here. Let's, do I want to do nubbies? So now, the thing about doing all the nubbies is after I put the nubbies, I have to shadow all these nubbies. So not only will these nubbies get nubbed, <laughs> then I have to go shadow and highlight all the nubs. But it might look kind of cool. It might look kind of cool. So maybe I can do it kind of quick. We'll see. <clears throat> you know, their, their texture, the texture of their comb and their waddle is bumpy. But to make it look realistic, not that I have to do that. You have to go in here and uh, shadow and highlight all these to make them look, not every single one, but in the shadows and the highlights. So this will be the, this will be the base. This might be a little hard to see. It's a lot of nubby work. Yeah, a lot of nubby work. <laughs> but look, I'm doing it pretty quick, aren't I? This is the mid-tone. The mid-tone nubs. <laughs> oh, I cracked myself up. <laughs> then we have to do the shadow nubs and the highlight nubs. <laughs> You thought we were just going to whip this thing out in five minutes, didn't y'all? <laughs> no, B. So y'all have any questions or anything? Anything going on? Any comments? Put them in while I can look up and, and see you. <clears throat> Hi, Dot. Y'all probably can't hardly really see this. Does it show up on camera? It will when we get the rest of it going in here. Get back on that eye in a minute. stopping in the nubs are showing up okay <laughs> a nubby we will go a nubby we will go I'll do you a nubby we will go <laughs> Mm. 
It's a little bit more textury in here. Get a nice little nubby edge there. <clears throat> Dee, I see the nubs just fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We'll get there. <laughs> and then some of it'll be some of it'll also be um, covered up with more shadow and pencil work, but. making these the wattle has like bigger texture in it almost like little scribbles baby I hear you but I think it'll make a cute sticker which is my you know purpose today I'm gonna, I'm, let me set these pencils aside I know I'm gonna end up knocking those on the floor get them done before Ugh. in here, isn't it? <laughs> Hi, Tracy. Elise, uh, uh, Alyssa. Alisa. I want, always want to say Alyssa, and it's Alisa. <clears throat> How you doing? We're just working on our chicken. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's get in here with the uh, let's get in here with the uh, Sienna now. And then a little bit of the orange. Mm. 
Oh, if you can see the eye. Oops, dropping pin seals. Let's see if I can hold this up. <clears throat> Let's see. Hi, Fancy. Good morning. I don't think I've met you before. Thank you, Starla. We're getting there. Good nubby. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. All right, we're going to have to go back to the nubbies here in a minute. get a cup of coffee or something. Try to hold my pencil back. Doesn't have to be everyone, but it has to be a bulk of them to make it look. And you can't see that. Let's see. Let's see if I can zoom in more. Let's start this. Let's just zoom in more. There we go. Still a little. That red. It's not. Let me try to adjust the light. It's not wanting to. It's not wanting to clarify right there. Can't really see it. I guess maybe it's just because it's the red. I don't know. We'll leave it here for a minute. And we still have to do the white. <laughs> I'll do this section. We'll do a section at a time. So I'm going to go back in the rest of this area. <laughs> Let's see, who else am I missing? CB, did you, when you were talking about sound effects, I remember your Star Trek board. Yeah, you know what happened to my Star Trek board? I don't, I don't even know if I kept it. Do I, because it, um, the battery, the battery went old in it. Do I still have it up here? Do I have it up on that shelf? Mm, I'm not seeing it. I might have. I, I don't think I would have thrown it away, but I don't know where it is. But, yeah, y'all know the – here, I'll show y'all. Um, it's back in my old videos. 
door door opener we'll put that in i think i can find it that way okay well here this one okay there's a youtube video on it let's see i don't know if this is the one but i want to, i just want to find the sound let's see so this is a video showing the star trek door that i built oh well he's got the whole door i don't want the whole door i just want the door opener I just want the panel, door panel, door opener panel, maybe. Let's try that. This guy built the whole thing. He built a ship or something. <laughs> and it's so slow in here. I know that um, it went, I, my phone, I think, defaulted back to 2G. So I don't know if I can find it. Let's, let's go to YouTube. YouTube's so much easier to find things. Okay, let's see. Star trek but yeah i had the star trek panel door opener i i got actually got it for hubster for birthday or father's day or something years ago star trek door panel uh, door panel opener let's see if that brings something gives me something here Oh, God, my phone is so slow in the 2G. Come on. I don't know. But... I don't know why. It's not even loading. Let me, let me check my settings again. Let's go back to my settings. Rabbit trail. Come on. There we go. 5G. Okay, see, um, Colleen, don't forget, uh, Colleen, well, she's probably already gone. I was going to ask her. Well, there's Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Which Whose channel are y'all streaming on tomorrow? Yours or Colleen's? Okay, I got my 5G back on, so let's see if I can find this now. <clears throat> now it's got me, I got a, it's bugging me. I want to find it. I'm waiting to see if Kathy answers. All right. Got a lot of people have built them. I just want to see just the door panel. Eek. Oh, here it is. This is the one I had. This is it right here. What happens when fungus oh, geez. And toenails and toenails That's what I want to hear gone. about. Ads on fungus. Good grief. Hey guys, I uh, thought I'd show you uh, my new acquisition this week. This uh, is exact I what I had. Star Trek original series wall communicator. And it is, uh, you know, a sign Hear of it? A, uh, a, a wall communicator from the series. Um, it has a motion detector to it. And so I've got it set up next to the door here in my man cave. And when you walk by. And, uh, you know, when someone walks through the door, you get that nice. <laughs> All that to share, share that one little sound. But that's the exact one I had for Hubster. That and you walk by and, it, and then you could go. It would do the. It would do the. Well, now I should have. I should have stuck with it a minute more. Let's see. Let me see. Original series. So you also have you know pushing sound, and you have an additional setting. And this one's a little bit more obnoxious, <laughs> but uh, you know, someone <laughs> hit the red alert klaxon, and as you can see, <laughs> it's really cool. But don't leave the battery in it. See, I left the battery sitting in it for years, and I didn't use it, and he didn't use it really either, you know, um, and. Uh, so the battery corroded in the socket, you know, in the spot, in the, in the battery space. <laughs> and so it was no longer good. So if you get you 
one of those. I guess you can still get them. I haven't tried to find an, a replacement. But if you try to get one, make sure that you take the battery out when you're not playing with it. <laughs> okay. At least, at least over the years. Over the years. I could probably do this with a texture, with a sponge or something, but it's not near as much fun. <laughs> it's not near as much fun as doing it with the pencils. <clears throat> I want to kind of get some of this blended. But it is cool. If you like your Star Trek toys. <laughs> uh, bye, Fancy. Thanks for stopping in. Janet, are you around? What's on board today? Because I'm going to be half asleep while I'm watching you. <laughs> Being up half the night with no electricity in the heat. Let's go with the door. the brighter red there we go and the shadows will do the brighter red <clears throat> pictionary okay <laughs> oh my God. if y'all haven't seen janet's pictionary shows they're good there's my I said I wasn't going to go down and do this waddle right now, but All right, I'll, I'll stop on the waddle. From I'll try to stay right in here. <clears throat> Go back to the red. Now let's go back up in here. Mm, do I want to go? Maybe I might want to do the, let me see if I can find the tiny Posca because I had them out. I redid everything. So now I got to look for my little bitty Posca. Those are the big ones. Let's see if this one, no, that's cream. Well, maybe the cream color one would be okay. All right, let's see here. <clears throat> I'm ready for Pictionary. <laughs> okay. Now, again, a lot of this is going to be covered up with pencil, but it's going to give me those extra highlighted areas. So we're going to go with it. Do a little... Pointillism. It 
as soon as it dries, I'll go ahead and start putting some pencil on so you can see what it's going to look like. It's not going to look this bright. <clears throat> this also works in your color book pages. Kind of like, oh, let me see, I'm trying to, in, in my head, I'm picturing where that color book is in the other room. I think I know where it is. I have to try to remember which book, which Kirby book. It's in a Kirby book. Has a dinosaur at the beginning. Does anybody remember which Kirby book that is? Where's my color book, people? The Kirby book with the dinosaur at the beginning. The one with the tennis shoes in the back, because I did the tennis shoes. The Converse tennis shoes are in the back pages. Does anybody remember which book that is in Kirby's book? Let me know. I'm off camera there. I'll go grab the book because I have like 10 Kirby books. I need to know the I need to know the book. The one with the because I can show you exactly what this is going to look like. It's going to look like dinosaur skin. <laughs> it's going to look like dinosaur skin. But I have to think of which book it's in, if anybody knows. Is it World Within Worlds? All right, hang on, Devin. Hang on, people. got it Devin. I went right to it. So what this will look like except it'll be in reds instead of purple is this effect. See this right here? <laughs> this is the same technique that I'm doing right now on the rooster but this is the dinosaur skin done the same way. <laughs> So after it's all, see all the white that I added? Well, that's, I'm doing the same thing here. It's off-white. It's cream. But after I'm done with all this, then what I'll do is um, go over it with pencil. Y'all get tired of me saying that? See? And this is also the one I think that's a tennis shoe. This is one of my favorite. Yeah, this is one of my favorite double page spreads <clears throat> that I did. And I did the I did this trees the same way. See all the little white things there? My um oh thank you, Bar Barbara Robinson's. Did you get your package? I never heard if you got your, um, I sent you the gelatos. Did you get your gelatos? And thank you for the uh, super sticker. I will send you a sticker if you know which one you want. <clears throat> thank you for the super sticker. Yes, you did get it? Okay. All right. I was making sure. Do you want a sticker? Do you know which one? I can't pull them out right now. You can either go back. If you know which one you want, tell me. Or go back and watch the beginning of the show later. And then message me or email me what sticker you would like. Unless you just know. Yeah. You're, my choice on a sticker? Okay. Let me, let me just pick a sticker. I'll just write that down. Sticker, my choice. Okay, I wrote it down. Thank you for supporting the channel, Barbara. And I'm glad you got your gelatos. Somebody could use them, right? <laughs> I hated that they don't. They would, were going to waste. Thank you, Sue. I'm working it, or I worked it. <laughs> um, so yeah, this one took me a minute. 
but so did this. This, you know, you see how long it's taken me to do all those dots. See all those dots? That's the same thing I'm doing now. <clears throat> Except in reds instead of purples. Your daughter and you share. Oh, good. Okay. Well, I'm glad to hear it. I'm glad to hear that. Um, oh, I don't want to dot with that. <laughs> uh, so let me do a few more and then I'll start shading a little so you can see or going over, I should say, with with uh, a pencil. So it just gives it that texture because the Posca retains its vibrancy even when you go over it with a color. So you'll see when I go back over it with a, a lighter, I don't know if I want to do scarlet. It'll probably be fine with just scarlet. Is this tedious for you guys? See, I'd be usually doing something like this while I was watching one of y'all streaming. <laughs> I'd be doing something myself. So <laughs> I'd be doing something while I was watching. I don't know if I'll finish this today, but I, I I'm going to turn this into a sticker eventually. You know, that's that was the plan. I want to get some more feathers in here, too, for you. That's why I'm not going to worry about down here now. It's going to take too long. I feel like Syrah. Pointillism. Can't imagine. Let me pull up one of his paintings for you. Oh, thanks. Thanks, <laughs> Debbie. Let's see. Oops. Okay. This is who we're looking up. You probably recognize that painting. Let me look up images. I'll show you. Okay. Everybody's probably seen this one. But do you know that it's all dots? Well, it's not probably going to let me look. It's all dots, all pointillism. And it's going to take me to a site. I don't want to go to a site. There you go. Might be able to, might be able to see it. <clears throat> Let's try another one. Oh, here we go. There's a better version of it. So I know you'll recognize that painting. And he, and he probably just did it with the paintbrush. I didn't even really, I don't know if I've ever paid attention to how he did it. Like for me, 
If I was going to do that with a paintbrush, I'll tell you what it'd be. Be that into the paintbrush. <laughs> it would be that into the paintbrush, not the brush part. <laughs> then we'll do some feathers and some more around the eye. I'm defining this a little more than it is in real life, but I want those to, I want that comb to stand out a little more. Bye, Devin. All right, so let's try this. Now let's take. What my brightest red? Let's see. We have scarlet. And I have other pencil. I have other scarlet pencils. Don't don't uh, don't worry. Just because I picked this. One. All right. So now what I'm gonna do is go over. Got to make sure they're dry or you'll be pulling them back off, you know. Let me zoom in again because I don't think you can see this. And it does pixelate a little. I mean, we, got, we lose a little clarity, but I think you can see the color better. So see how the white does not go away? It still retains its vibrancy with the red going over it. And see how that looks nubby? <laughs> uh, let's see, maybe I'll turn the white down just a tad. There we go. But as you can see, it's going to take a while to finish the whole thing. But after I do this, I'm going to go into the feathers. I don't see anything in caps. That's good looking chicken. Thanks. <laughs> I don't think I can do a chicken. I could I could probably do it. Well, that'd be loud. I have a loud voice and when I do things like, you know, sound effects, it's really extra loud and people's animals start, you know, crying in the background. <laughs> Gonna sharpen that a little bit more. See how that's knocking it back? I hope. I think the camera wants to go because of all the dots and things. All right, let's do a little bit more. Let's get a little bit of a what do you call it, a uh, uh, Tuscan red. Sharpening again. Well, this one's got a good lead in it, and lead. It's not. I know it's not lead um, pigment. Uh, if you buy these pencils, which somebody said they're going to stop selling the individuals in craft stores, I don't know. I think Xandra's the one that said that because at her um, up in New Jersey, I think. 
I don't know if it's going to be all of them. I think they assumed that it was going to be all of them and that you weren't going to be able to buy individual uh, pencils. I'll back out. You'll be able to see it better in a minute. But I do need, if I want to do the eye, I've got to have all the dots around the eye. Oh, okay. I don't want to do, I don't, I don't want to bore y'all doing all this because it's going to take me a while, you know. A little bit of that highlight around the eye there. And the yellow ochre. I think the eye looks good. He's a little shadow under that highlight. Right under that highlight. Just needs a little bit of shadow. There. Shh, 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 shh. there we go. Better, better. There we go. All right, now back to the... And each little section here is its individual little roll, if you will. Roll of chicken. <laughs> roll of uh, uh, chicken waddle. <laughs> All right, let's me dry that. We'll go over it with red. <laughs> and I do need just a little bit of... Um, Iris lines in there. Just a little couple. All right, now let me sharpen my red again. But anyway, when you buy pencils individually, as long as they're still available to buy individually, um, all right, that sharpener isn't giving me a fit. Let's, let's go to this one. And I have more pencils. I just, you know, I'll use a nub. And I'll use a nub. Um, you want to, let me just look at them for a second. Let's look at them. All right, here's a good example. Look how this is not centered. Can y'all see that? Look, let me try to get out of the way. See how that lead is not centered? See how it's way over to the side? This will always break as you sharpen it. Just saying. So when you buy individual pencils, the Prismacolor, when you buy them um, open stock, check the ends and make sure they don't look like that. Let's see if I can get out of the way. See how it's off center? You will have problems sharpening that. All right. So that's why I was looking at this one, but this one is okay. All right. Let's go back over the... Okay, and now my Tuscan Red. All right, I'm going to back way out now. But you, you can see how it's starting to look like a roll. <clears throat> all right all righty so it's going to look like that here 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 it's going to look like that all right but i want to do some feathers so let's see what i want to do do i want to do some more with the brush or should i hit it go ahead and hit it with the pasta we're almost at 11 30. my only my only talks during loud yells i don't i'm not understanding barbara who that is or what that is or what animal that is i'm sorry is that a bird let's see a little bit more All right. All 
All right, let's do some feathers. See, this is why I couldn't do the feathers until this was done. Because I don't want to have to do all this around fe individual feathers like this. And again, I can go in here and add more colors on top once that dries. It's a peacock, a parrot? Oh, it's a parrot. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so now I want a few little... Well, now you can't see. Let's go ahead and zoom back in again. There you go. Maybe lighten it up just a tad there. Okay, so now we can do those little feathers. And this is now that we've got all that blue underneath, this is where we can cross over those shadows. And you can go as crazy as you want with this, but, you know, you don't, <laughs> don't have to do too, that much, really. And again, I'm going to cut this out. It's going to be a sticker. When my bird hears loud voices, he thinks uh, uh, Alexa. You know, getting the gist of it. I thought it looked amazing. But yeah, the feathers. Feathers will make it, I'm telling you. Same thing when you do uh, cat hair. If you do like, um, um, I don't know if I can put my hands on it right off. Uh, let me go over to my, I think in my Facebook animals. I can probably find it pretty quick. If y'all want to see a lot of my uh, animals, I did post a, I have a folder uh, what do you call it a yeah I guess it's a folder let's see um, hang on I'm gonna scroll for a minute Facebook's not as long doesn't take me as long as it does on uh, Instagram Instagram I have so many but here it is okay so I posted I reposted, I shared the memory on um, April 27th. If you just scroll back in my Facebook, my I, this is from seven years ago when I uploaded these from seven years ago. So you can kind of see some cat hair. This one's from 2014. Um, let's go here. I, there it is. This is the one I wanted to show you. See all that fur? All that right there? Maybe I should move back a little. So, yeah, the, the fur makes all the difference. Same thing for these feathers. Now, granted, I'm not taking as long doing this as I did on a cat portrait, but you can kind of still see. 
And I could probably go ahead and put some brush in here too. I don't have to do it all with the Posca. So let me, I'll get some, uh, I'll get some white um, paint out here in a minute. And these are all going to kind of twist around the side here. <clears throat> so let me put some on then I'll get I'll get in here with the brush and I can always go back and add some more of this. Okay. And same thing for the edges. So let's see what we can do with the brush. For a few minutes let's get a nice big brush nice big brush and i think this still might be um it's not hardened up yet okay any questions yes yeah, so you can go to my facebook um now what i'm doing here and i'll show you over here i'm kind of doing this like a little bit of a dry brush thicker there and then lift See how, I don't know if you can see that. And you can do some like this, some more defined ones. And then you can use the side of the brush and kind of flick. I don't know if it's showing up. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and do a little flicking. Just kind of soften it just a little bit more. I don't know if y'all can tell that that's softer. While I had Birdman, her name was Sassy. All I do is, oh, I got to get those book, that book for Janet. All I want to do is draw chickens and paint chickens and read conspiracies. <laughs> and I will have a couple minutes. We can read, read out of our creativity book here. Let's see, let me back out so you can see the whole chicken. Maybe I have a couple stray little feathers coming off there. Now I'm doing some thicker, bigger feathers like, like this. I kind of like. He's fluffing up. Yeah, <laughs> he's fluffing up. I have to fix that little uh, right there. Um, into his. I don't want a feather growing out of his uh, waddle there. there we go. 
And I remember, I still have to do all the dots and everything like that, all down in the waddle. <clears throat> so this is when we paint on the scroll our animals like this some of my favorite thing to do All right, I think we're good. What do y'all think? How's that look? All right, I think I'm I'm think I'm done with it for now. Like I said, I got to do all the dots like this, the texture which will look like my dinosaur skin. Which, let me bring that one back up again. All right, I'm going to go over here in the brush water. Very fluffy. Very fluffy. Fluffy. <laughs> okay, let's see. <clears throat> There, right about there, you can see it. This was obviously not done. This is how it starts. Just starts with a wash. Just this, just a wash of acrylic paint. A wash of acrylic paint. Then go in and sh this is all just a wash right there. Flat black in the background. And then you go in and add all your textures and stuff. Hi, Rosalita. How you doing? Thank you, Flo. All right. So I think we will go ahead and let's move the, the shadows here. Let's see if I can move this stuff out of the way. So we have less shadows. Well, big mess to clean up, but there you go. All right. Let me hit it with the heat gun. I'm not a teacher. That doesn't mean you can't learn something from me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Teachers have patience. A lot of patience that I respect. Okay. There we go. So, let's go ahead and read out of our book. We didn't read out of it last week, so we'll read maybe four or five pages. Again, this is A Thousand and One Ways of Creativity. They're quick creativity quotes with different uh, topics. Rachel got us this one. <clears throat> they have um, What is Creativity, that section. Then they got Finding Your Way, The Creative Heart, Working Creatively, The Spirit of Creativity, which is what we're in now in the purple. Then the guides, I think, is now maybe guides, staying creative. No, I think we are in the guides. We're in the more quotes by uh, famous people um, on creativity. Again, I may or may not agree with the quotes, but I'm reading them to you. Hi, Beth. Thank you. Um, but take, you know, as we say in the South, chew up the meat, spit out the bones. 
uh, take what's useful to you. Make sure and write things down. If something occurs to you while I'm reading it, you know, reading it. It may not have anything to do. It may not have anything to do with the quote, but it could be something that just struck you and you want to um, you want to remember it. Write it down in your Society of Idea Collector notebook. Thank you, Julie. He looks well, I'm going to make a sticker out of him, so he will be available once I finish all the all the texture. <laughs> okay, we'll read a couple pages. The process of writing has something infinite about it. Even though it is interrupted each night, it is one single notation. Believe those who are seeking the truth. Doubt those who find it. You're always learning, always seeking, always growing. How vain is it to sit down to write when you have not stood up to live? And that's a quote by Thoreau. The day is coming when a single carrot freshly observed will set off a revolution. And that says on. I'd rather be caught holding up a bank than stealing so much as a two-word phrase from another writer. Inspiration could be called inhaling the memory of an act never experienced. Again, you may or not, you know, like part of the quote or some of it or agree with it or not, but it makes you think. Words are things. A small drop of ink falling like dew upon a thought produces that which makes thousands, perhaps millions, think. One of my favorite um, uh, quotes that I, I write it down all the time. I have to think of the word choose. choose you choose. Is it two? Oh, that's chose. Yeah, choose. Yeah, no. You choose. <laughs> Thoughts are seeds. You choose what to grow. Okay, back to the quotes. Um, art is not what you see, but what you make others see. see. And that's Degas. Have your adventures, make your mistakes, and choose your friends poorly. All these make for great stories. Imagination is the one weapon in the war against reality. You don't have to burn books to destroy a culture. Just get people to stop reading them. And that's a Ray Bradbury quote. I'm going to read it again. You don't have to burn books to destroy a culture. You just get people to stop reading them. We do not write as we want, but as we can. A little talent is good to have if you want to be a writer, but the only real requirement is the ability to remember every scar. And that's Stephen King. Writing gives you the illusion of control, and then you realize it's just an illusion, that people are going to bring their own stuff into it. Genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration, and that's Thomas Edison. My version is, of that is 99% of inspiration is in your butt. <laughs> Writing comes more easily if you have something to say. The mind which plunges into surrealism relives with burning excitement the best part of childhood. And that's so true. I love surrealism. I'm not everybody's cup of tea, but you know. So there we go. So we'll put, we're getting close to the book. After we finish this, we might go back to the other book that we read for about three years. You know, we only read a couple pages a week. <laughs> so uh, we might go back to the other one that we read for about three to five years. I don't remember how long. We've been reading this one for probably three, two to three. So there we go. Um, let me hold him up there so you can maybe see his little texture a little better. So you can see under the eye, right there, this part right here, see how that looks rounded? Well, this is going to be the same, that's going to be the same, that's going to be, so it's going to be like rolls. You know, we all know what rolls are, right? <laughs> Do we all have rolls? 
<laughs> anyway, so yeah. So and I'll make and I am gonna make them into a sticker along with the other ones that I'm doing with just paper collaging them. So I hope y'all enjoyed this. Uh Jen is obsessed with butt. What is that why Jen is obsessed with butts? I don't know why Jen's upset with butts. <laughs> I can't really say. So did I miss anything? I'm looking around. Um, I'm looking, let me look at my, oh, I have not, uh, posted, um, new books. Oh, I was going to show, Janet wanted to see that book. Hang on. Let me go get that conspiracy book. I have three, there's three of them actually. Well, I'll just pull one. There's three of these, but Janet wanted me to show her one of them so she could, she just wanted to see it. So it's cinema, cinema symbolism and uh, a guide to esoteric imagery in popular movies. And there's three volumes of these. This is the thin one. This is the skinny one. <laughs> there's two other volumes. So, um, yeah. So that's what it is. Let me see. Do I want to flip through something? Let me put that right there. Let's see. There's not tons of pictures. It's not tons of pictures, but it, it describes all the different symbolism in movies and where it came from. Um, it's very interesting, but if you don't like esoteric type stuff, you're not going to like it. <clears throat> Isn't that the one Hubster got when they went to California? This book? No. I don't remember which one he got in California. Uh, it's a conspiracy. <laughs> I got to write that down. <laughs> Wait, let's get the big one. So anyway, but yeah, Janet, there's um, there's three volumes of this, and he also has a four, a first a one before he wrote these three. So, um, but yeah, <laughs> uh, anyway. So if you have some more questions on, you can ask me, Janet. She just wanted to see the book. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, thanks, Shaz. I'm confusing with Hollywood book. He, yeah, he brought back some Hollywood books. He always, he's, we both are big readers and he loves old Hollywoods, but I don't remember what book he brought back, Tina. He does have that accusing look about him. <laughs> I should have put, I'm a conspiracy chicken and put a word bubble, you know, put a word bubble. <laughs> well anyway guys i'm gonna let y'all go i'm gonna actually i'm gonna go make a chicken salad sandwich <laughs> i'm gonna have chicken salad sandwiches for lunch today um Russo, thank you Devin. i could post i could post this picture if y'all want me to but it's i gotta finish this first i gotta finish the waddle uh let's see I'm a conspiracy chicken. <laughs> and don't forget, Janet comes on at 1. Christopher comes on at 2. Monday through Friday. Well, Christopher comes on Monday through Friday. Janet comes on only on Mondays. I think she's going to do... Uh, <laughs> she's going to do chicken. <laughs> she's going to do Pictionary, not Chickenary. <laughs> she's going to play Pictionary today. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, if y'all missed the, my new stickers that I showed at the beginning of the show, probably about 30 minutes, maybe 20 minutes in the beginning, just scrub through, you know, you can just, you can just scrub through videos to, to the place where you want. Um, I'll make, I will make this a thumbnail. I'll, I'll make this a thumbnail, guys. <laughs> All right. Y'all have a great day. Oh, thanks, Tina. There's Tina, there's Tina posting links. 
And uh, we will see you guys um, at other streamers. And I'll see you back here on Wednesday. Y'all have a great day. And stay safe out there in those storms. Keep your electricity. Get you a, get you a phone charger. And uh, we will see y'all later, guys. Bye.